Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Let me get rid of that. Uh, first up, I want to move that water drinker. That one's got to go back over there. That air conditioning... We will move that one, actually. We'll, put, we'll move that one back over into that corner. Leaflet stand there. And then the bins. That one I've already moved. I'll move that bin over there. Another leaflet stand can go near the door. The bin... Wait. Uh, if I press control, I can move things closer together. That was one of the comments I received recently. There. You got you you can actually move the things a bit closer together if you use control like that. You can really start to squeeze these things up. So I got the lemons there. I'll move that one over a bit and then I'll go with the tomatoes here. And I'll put them down there. Items we're going to go with a log bench. I'm going to put one log bench down there so that I've got some room for people to come out into the corridor a little bit. And I don't really need to move this around very much. i going to leave that like it is. All right. That's pretty good, I think. We've got some benches out here. We've got people who'd be able to wait to come into that room. This here, I'm kind of thinking we want more people to come in. Like, well, not more... Well, yeah. I, I'm going to need more people to be able to come in here. And all of these plants, they're going to require janitors. So let's move stuff around in this room as well. We're going we're gonna to need to do a bit of editing in here. Uh, edit. I've only got... Oh, wait. No, okay. Don't edit. Don't edit. Yes. I've only got $1,800. We're not going to do the editing just yet. We need to wait. Although... I've got very few days left to cure my herb patients. And... We're waiting on the flower beds to regenerate. I've now got 7,000. I need more nurses. I need people over here so that we can get this treatment done. We can. Well, there's the nurse moving in. Staff promotion right there. That is Dr. De, Junior Doctor. Excellent. Um, I want to see this one in action. I want to see this one over here. I've got someone who's getting ready to come in here. There they go. They're, they're coming in. So let's slow this down to normal speed. Let's have a look at the distraught. This is this is this is going to be amazing. In they go. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant! Look at this through the combining and out they come. Oh, that is fantastic! <laughs> I love it. That is a thing of beauty right there. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, 82 out of 9. Um, these patients are not going to be cured. So we're not getting the money for that, unfortunately. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to edit this room. And we're going to... I've got an air conditioning unit here and here. So I'm going to move that one over into that corner. And then these plants. I've got a lot of plants in this room. I'm going to move the water drinker over there like that. And then that plant there. I'll put it here like this. Uh, put you up to that side. Now, if I do the control bit, I can actually put these beds quite close to each other. I can move that one over there. And just move that bed back a little tiny bit so it's lined up with the other one. I'd like it lined up. Uh, yeah, if I do it too close, they won't be able to reach the... They won't be able to reach that one. So I will move this one again. We'll go over here. Right, you're here. Ah, that's what I need to do. 
put you in that way. I want to go up that way a bit. That's too far. And go right up against that side there. And over towards this bed. As tight as I can possibly squeeze them in together, I think. That's what I'd like to do. And then put that one down there. And then have another one over here and we'll do the same. Put that one there. Put that plant. The problem is that they the plants won't won't be reachable. So we, we might have to sell some of those. That one there. Why are you... Oh, it's because I pressed control when I pick the thing up, so it duplicates it um, as you pick it up. Didn't realize that was a thing. And put you... No. That wants to go out a little bit further. I'm not sure squeezing them in quite this tight is actually a good idea. So that one can go there. That's that's its starting position. And then this one here needs to move over a little bit. We'll put that one there. Um, if I go over that one and then click and press control, I pick up a fresh one like that, which is pretty cool. So that one, that sort of copies it, which I didn't realize before. So we'll put that one down over here. There like that. And then I'll get another one of those and I'll put that one down. Like that. This side over here, they're already kind of squeezed up a bit. Now, can I squeeze them up any more than this? This one I can't because these items, they're going to be in the way. But I think that is partly the air conditioning and that. If I was to put that one up there. I can't move anything else there. Oh, I, st I still can't move that one over though. That's going to be, it, it doesn't like that one. Move the air conditioning there, maybe. Right, now it'll let it through. The plants can't... Oh, I see. Right, it's, it's these plants along the back wall. They don't like that. And what about you? Then if I do that, they can't reach the plants along the back wall. So what we'll do instead is we're going to move these plants along the back wall. I'm going to bring them out a minute. Like this. I need to do maximum efficiency with these. So I want to have as many of these as possible. I can put you in there. And I can put you... No. Oh, I see. If I bring you forward a bit. I bring you over there like that. And then I can have them like lined up quite well. And then I put you there. And then if I go control on that one, I can put a fifth one in and a sixth one down there. So I got six of them in a line down there. Then these plants, I can't put any in behind here because it blocks access to those. And I don't want to be blocking access to any of them. So then we go back here and we remove that plant. So that will just allow me to get right the way around those. And I've got an air conditioning unit up here, which is perhaps going to be in the way. I have three air conditioning units in this room. Let's put one in the middle there. And I'll leave that one where he is for a second. And then we're going to go over this side. And these flower beds, I can't have any more of those. Let's bring these plants out of the way a second. We'll bring all of these into the middle. We'll do something with these plants. We will actually do something with them. So these here, they can go right up as tight as I can get them along this back wall. There. That one over to there. Uh, the rainwater drinker, we'll move that one out a minute. We'll put the air conditioning unit there. I'll take another one of them and I'll put that one on the back wall there. So now I've got some extras of these all the way along. Putting them in, it means that just that one being moved there means I can't access these. So I got six of those and I've got five of those over on this side. If I want to be able to have more of these... 
I've got to spread them out. Well, I can't have more. If I want to, if I want to have them on the back wall, I think it might be better though if I do try to have them on the back wall. Like if I that one's got to go there, and then this one here, I can put them in pairs. That's what I can do. I can I can have them there two at a time. I just can't put that one over in the corner. Right, fine. I'll put that one in the corner there. And then this one will go here. And this one will go here. And we'll spread them out like that. It'll be a little bit better. The, that plant can stay where it is. We've got a cactus there. So I can put some of these plants in like this. In between these. Except that I can't with... Why can I do it with some of these but not all of them? Like that one going there. Ah. Oh, I see. Right. These That's ever so slightly bigger. So a cactus plant and this one will fit. That cactus will fit in there. But the other one won't. I can put this one in if I use the control. No, I still can't do it. Right. Okay, we won't put any extra in there. We'll leave it like that. That should be accessible along the back there. I've got these plants now. We still need to do something with them. Or we will be we will be doing something with them. I want to get a few plants in here. You know what? I'm going to get rid of a lot of these. We can always come back and we can have some more plants later if we decide that that is the way forward. So next up, I've got... So I've got five of the vineyards and I've got five giant flowers. So then I'm going to go one, two, three, four vines down through there. And then flower beds over this side. The flower beds are much wider. Yeah, they do want to go that way. I'm going to go one, two, three flower beds down through there. Can I fit an extra one in? I can't. It won't be possible to fit an extra one in. And that's all of them down there. So I've got a slight, I got a few extra vines compared to the others. That's going to cost me an extra 20 grand. Build that room there. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're going to get some patients coming through. This is going to be brilliant. But then what I want to do is I want to go to items like this. And we want to go to plants. Let's just go to regular plants. And I don't have this as a green room anymore. It's like the, 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 the greenness of the room seems to have vanished because of everything that I've done. So the herb garden now is prestige level four. I do want to get a couple of extra plants in here we'll put okay i'm not going to stuff one of those huge great big ones we'll um stick a yucca plant in here that one can go in there one here one here and one here right there is an absolute boatload of extra plants lots of yucca plants Actually, I want to move that one there so that it lines up with the others. Right. Loads of plants in here. So the room is fully green again. And I've got way more plant life in here as well. It it, it should be able to work all right. Right. We need a pandemic involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils caused by extremely low levels of culinary skill. The pan must be carefully removed with a massive magnet. That one... We'll get them to wait. We will see if we can do that, but we will get them to wait. Now, I've only got one nurse working this room. It's kind of like a ward in here, I suppose. We'll have to wait and see on that. Right, I've cured one patient in pharmacology. I've got my doctors over here. I don't have the money to build a pans lab at the moment. I've got my doctors over there. Trainees. Now then, I could do with another doc. That doctor could do with some training. You could do with 
See, except that I'm not using my pharmacy at all yet, am I? That room has not been used. The pharmacy has not been used at all. So I don't know if I want to be training pharmacy. You here, you need to be training diagnostics level two. So we'll start with that one. We'll do diagnostics level two. Trainers available. I've got you and I've got you, who is my absolute favoritist nurse at the moment. But you're working in herb garden. It takes 16 days. That will take 31 days. You're, you're, you're going to do the training anyway, despite it taking 16 days. So, there. I need a nurse in here. I've got 11 people waiting to go into the school. Plants need water. Let's speed things up. We need a PANS lab. So, I'm going to need to... To be able to get a PANS lab, I'm going to need a loan. So, if I take out that loan right there, 50 grand... That gives me 58,000. Then we can go into rooms over here. The PANS lab, I'm pretty sure, is a doctor one. Yes, that does require a doctor, and it's a 4x4. Four four. So I'm going to stick that one down in this corner at the moment. This is not ideal. This one will be moved later. But for now, we can use the PANS lab over here. So we'll dump that in there. PANS lab, we need the basics in the room. So we'll go with a toxic waste bin. We'll go with an extinguisher. We will go with nice smelling hand sanitizer next to the door over there. We'll go with an air conditioning unit over there. And I suppose we could go for a level three room, couldn't we? Could try to get a level three room. We've got a wicker chair here, which we will drop into that corner down there. Uh, woodworm. Screwball. Wander Rust, we'll go in here. Like that. Blank Look Turtle Head Pandemic. They need to know what they're being treated for, so we'll put the Pandemic poster in there, and that's Prestige Level 3. I will go to Items, and we'll take a log bench, and we will put one on each side of the door out here, like that. Job done. Right, I've got two janitors. They're going to be struggling, these two janitors. Right, I've got a lot of plants that need watering. Uh, feeding the people here seems to be doing all right. Special report, zero out of six patients. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. I took the nurse away. I've got 13 people waiting for this room. The flower beds are at least just about healed up. So once the nurse comes back in here... Nurse required in cardiology. We should be able to get some treatment going on in here pretty quickly. I'm going to go in here, though, and I'm going to add an extra nurse there as an optional extra. And I'm going to go to higher. We've got nurses here aplenty. Uh, pharmacy management there, ready for training. I can put you straight in for a treatment level two, which would be pretty good stamina training. Or we'll just go with you and go for a treatment level one. The thing with the nurses, though, is if they've leveled up a bit on here, they're more effective. Even though you give them training, they still automatically gain additional treatment skill and diagnostic skill and stuff just from the process of leveling up. So Alfie Iceman is automatically better at all-round treatment skills than Percy Codswallop. Which is something to be remembered, although Percy is not far off of leveling up to level 2 anyway, and we could just have him doing treatment. So I'm going to bring him in. He's a litterer. I'm going to bring him in anyway. He's going to go straight in there and get to work. And, well, he's not going to get to work because, oh, well, I've, uh, diagnostics is almost done over here. And then I've got a doctor that I need working in. The, well, there should be the doctor already working in the PANS lab. Let's just double check. Uh, the doctor's in here. Yes, the doctor is able to go and work in the PANS lab. I've got a doctor's ready for training. Uh, nurses over here. I've got a new nurse. You are going to be a treatment nurse, so no diagnostics or wards. There, just remove those. And we've got pharmacology, so we'll remove the diagnostics nurses. Right. I think we're done here. We're done here. Let's let it happen. So there is my dude right here. 
Training course complete diagnostics two, which means that I can go straight back into here. We, no, it's not you. I want to go trainees available. So that nurse right there, I want you in basic treatment. That is going to be your first training right there. Basic treatment. And you, nurse, you're probably the one to do this job. So I got three, I got two nurses, three nurses in basic treatment. You right there, Alison Bamshoot. You're doing this training because that's only going to take 15 days to do that training. And I like that. So we'll let you do that particular course. That would be absolutely fantastic. And then our Nurse money is getting low. In injection room. We've got a nurse required over here. Extract a pan. Has anybody come over and actually had the extractor pan work yet? I'm a bit curious if it's if it's been working. Got a whole load of people in here now. I've got two nurses working in here, so we're quickly running through all of our flower beds. But then you've got to wait for them to regenerate, and that's the bit that takes the time. So I'm I'm getting some of these are able to be cured but some of them are dropping down dead which is not quite so good it's, ne it's never quite so good when they drop down dead publicity update roderick cushion was so impressed with the hospital he wants to make a movie about his visit he's offered to buy the rights and everything this is some great publicity and sounds like an enthralling movie okay i'm <laughs> not sure it's gonna be all that great but we do earn 20 grand so that's that's uh, all good I got another 8,000 there. We've got eight grand there, despite the fact we just killed the patient. Um, staff training required. You can wait. Percy Codswallop has gained a lot of experience on the job. Yeah, Codswallop is going to have to wait. Ward required. Tender box. Sufferers are characterized by a stifling soreness and slightly flinty smell. Commonly caused by long camping trips spent trying to start fires. The patient is seeking treatment will need a ward in order to treat them. Get them to wait. We will build a ward. I don't have any room to build it just yet, so we are going to have to do something. Announcement. Toilets need routine servicing. I'm running low on toilets. I don't have room for a toilet here, so we're going to have to go for another new block. So where is the new block? The outside edge. Um, I've got a plot all the way over there. There's a plot just here, which is good. That's got to be the next one, is is that plot right there. We've got plot four there. Oh, wow. We go all the way back over here. Plot nine. Goes a lot. Okay, so the hospital goes back a very long way. We've got these bits here. But it does, it sort of goes back into the distance by a very long way. We're going to buy that plot right there. And we're going to get them to expand the hospital out that side. And then we'll build the ward in there. That's going to be the room for the ward. So we're busy demolishing everything. Staff challenge from Jacob Blunder. Go 90 days without a death. Uh, that might be difficult. Considering our track record. That might be incredibly difficult. Now, I was told that I need to train somebody up. I'm pretty sure the person I was told to train up is actually supposed to be on his way over here for training. Estimated duration. I'm on fast speed. Warning, there are reports of electrical storms in the area. Oh, we've just had someone go through the straw machine. There's another 11,000. Uh, eco rating. Some of the Department of Green things impress them, and we get five grand. And now we've got this person over here who's busy doing his training. I'm waiting on... Oh, there we go. We can now build a ward. Right, so where are we going to build a ward? We go in here. It needs to be four by three. Now, I've done three before. I'm going to go with four wide like that, and that door will need to go over there. So then we can put... The nurse station right in that corner there. And we can put that one in that corner. We're going to have the jasmine bed for this. And that one's going to go right into that corner. And then the other bed is going to go directly opposite like that. And it's doing that weird thing. 
Right. Well, if that one's going there, then that one is going there. Because I can... Well, I can't put two close together. But I was able to put two close together there for a, a, just a second ago. And you can go there. See? Look. I can put one there. But then I can't put one here because it's right in the way. So we'll put this one over here. And then I will put one more bed down. Well, actually, you know what? We're just going to stick with six beds for a minute. We'll see how this gets on with six beds. I want a bedside table there and there. I would like to put... Let's put the essentials in first. I need an air conditioning unit. Can I put... Oh, right, I can fit an air conditioning unit there. And then I would like an air conditioning unit to go over that side as well. So that should be all right in there. We scroll down through this bit a second and I want to get a clock. I always like to have a clock on the wall. That one can go above the air conditioning unit just like that. It'll be just fine. Uh, we'll put in a couple of chairs or at least one. I can put one there. I'll put the I'll put another one over on that side over there like that. I need to have a rubbish bin. So we'll go with the toxic waste bin and that one can go right there on the end of the desk. It's not going to be in the way of anything. We need to have a fire extinguisher. I can put that one right there in front of the nurse's station without causing any problems. I could Put one up that end, actually. Let's spin round a minute and take you. Get rid of that one. And met. Oh, what wall monitors? I I want the wall monitors. These can go directly above the beds, and they help with diagnostics and stuff. So we definitely want to put some of these in. We'll put. One there above that bed, one there, and one there. And then I put an extra one on the wall up there. Just going to go in the middle of the room like that. And then we want some medicine cabinets just to finish things off with. I can put one there and one there like that. And then I can swing around over to this side and I can put one there and I can put one there. So they're away out, they're sort of out of the way there a little bit. And then I can bring this over here and I can put a medicine cabinet and a medicine cabinet. And then I can go back around this side. I put one there and I can put one there. I think that's probably enough. Actually, you know what? We could stick an extra couple in here. I can No, I can only put one in there. Right, fine. I'll stick one extra of these that one can go there like that there one extra that'll do is twenty nine thousand for the ward i've now got a ward which means that i've now also got to go to items i need to put a log bench down here and another one here i could do with putting a rainwater drinker one two next to each other we will do three of these I go with carrots and scroll down through here to this lot. We've got lemons. When life gives you lemons, drink them. Squirt them in squirt squirt them in someone's eye. Is that is that how you're supposed to do it? I I don't think that's quite how you're supposed to do it. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later